Come on, let's hear it. Let's hear it for Kids Day 2022. All right, so we're going to start today just a little bit different. I would like everyone who has any sort, whether it be a, a full-on costume, a t-shirt, anything Star Wars, anything, I want y'all to come on up front. I want to start with getting a, a group photo of everybody, because by the end, the kids have shed it all. So we're going to start with, with that. So if I can get, let's get some adults up here first, or some, some taller uh, humans, or other species, whatever they are, get dressed up, let's go, let's go Jedi, let's do it, taller humans, let's go, and then, and then sub-tall humans, and then miniature humans, y'all come up too, <laughs> if there's anybody running around out there, y'all bring them in. If y'all have masks, now's the time to don them. <clears throat> okay, keep sliding over. Keep sliding over. Go ahead. Nice. Nice. Brother Tim needs to come forward a little bit more. Andrew needs to come forward a little bit more as well. Maybe, maybe swing out just to the outside of, of Hillary. Does that work? Swing to the outside of Hillary. Hillary, over to your right, just a hair, a little bit closer. And then Andrew, go to your left. All right, Brother Dion. I'm sorry. Brother Juan, Brother Juan, mi hermano Juan, please move forward, though. To the platform. Corbin, brother, brother, Darth Corbin, come on up. Come on, quick, 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 get up there. Clayton's right here. Okay, do we have a serious, serious photo? Okay, are we ready? Got some serious ones? Okay, everybody, let's make some faces. Make some noise up in here, all right? Come on. Woohoo! Go Star Wars, baby! Let's hear it for Tatooine. Let's hear it for the Life Star. All right, awesome. Thank y'all. Woo! Let's do this. So like I said, welcome to Kids Day. May the Lord be with you. We're going to have a great time today. We've got our missionaries here from all over, our uh, not all over, but from other places around the district. I think most, many if not most, if not all, have dressed up in some sort of way. I would like to, our missionaries, if y'all would just stand. A lot of this artwork and all of these little ones... We give them a hand. They've done a fantastic job this week helping us out. Thank you so much for being here. Y'all may be seated. All right, we're going to start with a song. All in this together. Everybody ready? Come on, young people. Come on, Star Wars kids. Go ahead and stand up. We're going to do some, some songs with movements here.
Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Kids Day. My name is Jedi Master Duke Landwalker. I wanted Luke, but Disney copyrighted it, so. Uh, today, I am here to interview uh, a young pilot that we have who's wanting to join us uh, for the Republic. I was asked to interview him, even though I don't normally do this kind of thing. Up oh, here he comes. I take it you're Juan Solo. You take it that my name is Juan Solo, and it is. You're a really good Jedi. You read my mind? Is it you read my mind? Uh, I, I actually, I have your Facebook profile up here, which oh. is connected to your resume for this job. You cheat. You, oh, I did connect it. Okay. I was hoping nobody knew how to click on that button. I'm a Jedi. We're great at clicking buttons. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yes, my name is Juan Solo, and I am the captain of the Chimichanga Falcon. And my ship can do the Tijuana run in 12 parsecs. Okay. That's fast. Well, welcome. But what is the Tijuana run? The Tijuana run is for tacos. <laughs> I am the fastest to get the tacos. And, and what about these parts? But they don't all make it back. That's the thing. <laughs> it, what about these parsecs? What the parsecs you speak of is... Is that a speed? It's the speed, yeah. And which my ship is the fastest. Well, you seem to be very proud of your ship. You seem to think that I'm very proud of my ship. And I am. It's the Jimmy Chunga Falcon. Did I tell you that already? Okay. <laughs> Okay, now I, now I know why they asked me to interview this guy. I'm being punked. <laughs> Obi-Wan, Anakin. Nah, I'm being punked. I know I'm being punked. All right. Just Is there an Obi-Wan? It's Obi-Wan. Juan. Juan. Oh, okay. Not Juan. Not Juan. It's Juan. I was wondering if he is my cousin. W-A-N. I was just hoping he was my cousin. Uh, negative. <laughs> I didn't know I had any cousins that were Jedi, but you know. All right, well tell me a little bit about your, the, the Chimichanga Falcon. So the Chimichanga Falcon, you see the bridge. See what you gotta do is you gotta press the button on the tribulator, and then you gotta turn, you gotta turn the knob on the hingerator, and then you flip the switch on the, uh, oh, I forget this one every time. On the flip later, <laughs> something like that, and then uh, you push in something else. Yeah. So you're you're really out there going parsecs and stuff? No, that opens the door to the microwave, <laughs> and then you put in the tacos, and then you close the door to the tacos. And then you post oh, oh, Okay, I, I, I'm tracking. Um, I, I'm just looking at your Facebook profile yes, here, though. Yes, um, it, it, it says you're the, the president of a group called My Little Ponies Are For Guys Too. <laughs> are, what? Are you a... That's public? Are you a, a prony? <laughs> I mean, I've been hacked. I gotta been hacked. That's not me. That's not me, man. That can't be me. I, I, I don't know. The picture is, is you in a My Little Pony outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Who did this to me? <laughs> that's not very nice, oh, man. You think that's Photoshop? That's Photoshop. Definitely, that's, don't ask my mustache. That is your mustache. Mm. Uh, uh, what, about, what about this one? It shows you. That's definitely Photoshop. You laying in your bed with your comforter of My Little Ponies? And no, that's not mine. That's that's my niece's. It was a joke. So what that was you? a joke. Okay. You know what? We're, we're going to... That's a king-size bed, though. <laughs> Why does my niece have a king-size bed? I mean, okay, fine. <laughs> I 
that's really interesting. <laughs> Who came up with all these pictures? Who? Okay. What's this? I don't know. It says uploaded What's from your iPhone <laughs> 12 minutes ago. <laughs> okay, I tell you what. <laughs> A little advice. See if I can take the uh, uh, attention off of me. <laughs> if you're ever in Mos Eisley and you go to the Mos Eisley Cantina, don't drink the blue milk. Why, why not? It'll give you the castle runs for 12 parsecs. <laughs> <laughs> don't drink the blue milk. It's bad for you. Okay, I, Unless I, you're taking <laughs> off, because sometimes you got to take a blast off before you take off. And it's, it makes it a little better when you go in the ship, because you go really fast, and it puts a lot of pressure on you. And those spacesuits are expensive. <laughs> you trying to figure out weight and balance issues, too? Weight and balance. <laughs> okay. I, I, think, I think I've heard enough now. <laughs> no, no, you haven't. Wait a minute, i got to look at this again. <laughs> Because the script is on here. <laughs> Shh. So, <laughs> hey. <my laughs> Did I tell you about my friend? My friend Jose. He got a tattoo of his favorite Star Wars character on his face. You should see the look on his face. <laughs> Please. Hey. Anybody know the internal temperature of a tauntaun? It's lukewarm. Please stop. I'm begging you. I have more. What sound does Yoda's sheep make? They go ba. Okay, that one was pretty good. I got more. I got more. I just have to read more. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. A minute. Yeah. Hey. Are you gluten free? <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, don't try the gluten free uh, Wookie cookies. What? Why? They're a little chewy. <laughs> okay. Please. No more, no more, seriously. Hey, how I did they get from floor to floor in the Death Star? In the elevator. Get elevator? No, okay. Okay, okay. My jokes are not very funny. <laughs> My jokes are not very funny. I should probably stop telling jokes altogether. <laughs> I should probably stop. T hey! You're doing a Jedi mind trick thing on me? I got one more joke. You know, these jokes are really hard to come up with Star Wars. They feel a little forced. <laughs> okay. I stop. <laughs> I, I know I'm being punked. There's no way well, that somebody didn't put you up to this. Okay, it was Yoda. Yeah. Of course it was. He said, what was your name again? Duke. <laughs> Duke Landwalker. Duke Land. Yes. He said, you need to go, you need to go prank Duke Landwalker. Humor he has not. <laughs> Laugh he must. <laughs> Yoda's still upset I beat him in a lightsaber fight. <laughs> in my dreams. you guys are going to do is you're going to make one of you three into Yoda using whatever this stuff is called. Okay. I will, I'll call it Yoda Maker because I don't know what it's called. All right. So who would like to volunteer? Okay. All right. I got this gentleman right here. I got this gentleman right here. 
I got this gentleman right here. All right, one of you guys will be the Yoda. Okay, let's see who else we got. I got this little lady right here. I got this little lady right here. And we'll do this lady right here. That'll be one group of three. All right, who else we got? Okay, one, two, and three. All right, you guys will be there. So everybody will get a couple of those rolls. All right, figure out which one of you guys is going to be made into the Yoda. And then the other two will be created into it. You might want to put that down. What's up? I'm Yoda. That's wonderful. All right, here we go. All right, so spread out. Let's bring this group over here. And then you guys get kind of over here. All right, which one of you is going to get made into Yoda? Who wants to be Yoda? This looks like a good Yoda right there. <laughs> All right, who's going to be Yoda? You're going to be Yoda? Yes, All right, perfect. Okay. Whenever we say go, you'll begin to make the other person do Yoda. Go ahead and get your streamer started. Pull it out. So you, like, wrap it around them, right? So you take it and you just wrap it around them. There you go. You got it? It's glue. Boom. There you go. Perfect. All right. Is everybody ready? You got yours started? Here, let me help you. It's cool to break it. Okay. Don't be afraid to break it. All right. We got to roll on the go. All right. You guys ready? All right. Get set. Begin. Do we have music? All right, let's see who's going to be the most green Yoda ever. We will determine who the winner is afterwards by uh, asking people to applaud for each group. So uh, only applaud once for the vote. Oh, man. Oh, we got a lot of green over here. With Brother Jeremiah. Oh, man. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I never stated the amount of time, but you have not many of it remaining. How Yoda can you go? All right, five, four, three, two, one. All right, Yoda makers down. All right. All right, so Yodas, let's face the audience if you can, if you dare. Okay. All right, remember, crowd, we can only vote once. We're going to start right here, Brother Jeremiah. All right. Is he the most Yoda? Pretty good. All right. Is Yoda the most Yoda? Okay. Pretty good there, too. All right. All right. And then we have our last Yoda. Let's hear it. All right, I think it's pretty unanimous. I think we have the most Yoda right here. Good job, Team 3. All right, now you can rip off the Yoda makers, and we can put them in the garbage. Just, can you jump out with your legs or something? Ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> there can only be one Yoda. Mm. I'm 
coming. I'm coming. Only one Yoda can there be. Mm? Mm? And that is me. Mm? Wisdom. Wisdom I have come to drop on you, I will. Mm? Yes. Mm. This is Proverbs with Yoda. Mm. In the Bible, it says, in the valley, of the shadow of death, walk I through. Mm -hmm. Fear no evil will I. No. With me thou art, thy rod and thy staff. Comfort me they will, it says. Mm -hmm. mm. Ways of death is the end when following our own ways we follow. You heard what I said. Power of the tongue, death and life are in. Mm -hmm. Eat the fruit thereof, if you love it. Mm. <laughs> Tasty it is. Mm. Mm. Wisdom from Yoda. Most comfortable the bed is after the alarm goes off, right? Mm. Mm. I know, I know. One more. A loaf of milk cheese is. No? Think of that, did you? Mm. A loaf of milk, cheese is. No? Okay. Tall two year olds we become without sleep. No? No? Okay. Okay, last one. The stall is clean where the ox is not. But use the ox we do to get increase. Wait, what? <laughs> it says that in the Bible? Okay, interpretation. Poo you will have when oxen you use. <laughs> the Bible speaks of poo. <laughs> oxen poo. <laughs> it says it right there in Proverbs 14.4. Read it for yourself. Okay, time for a song. Cue music.
Well, there. Maybe you should watch your language there in the front row. My Lord. Whoa. Hey there, Padwan Louie. How was your Sunday school class today? You look like you done seen a wampa chasing you. Oh, Master Pops, am I glad to see you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I done got mm -hmm. scared plumb out of my socks. Well, my question is, where'd you get socks from, my young Padwan? Button it, never mind, never mind. Uh, what happened? What scared you so bad? Oh, Master Pops, it was awful. Mm -hmm. That teacher was talking about all kinds of crazy stuff, mm -hmm. like I ain't ever heard tale of a fur. About mm -hmm. three fellers, they done got thrown into this big fiery furnace for not bound to some gold statue thingy. What? That's what they said. These fellows, they got killed. Is that a voiceover? Who well, kind of sound like it. I don't know who it was, though. Stop messing with the sound. <laughs> okay. What were you saying? Them fellers done did get killed there, young Padwan? No, Master Pops. That's the crazy part. Some other feller done uh, just appeared in the fiery furnace and protected him. He did. Then they done just walked right out of the fire. And they didn't get hurt, and his clothes wasn't even burnt. Don't know, know how they done it, but they did it. Teach said, and I believe her, she said it and must be so. But, yep. but that just don't make no sense. No, how, don't. How'd they walk into fire, not get all burnt up? These fellers... What's they names? Well, they got some funny names. Mm -hmm. Ones with uh, sheds with racks or something. What? Uh, my shack or something. What? And to bed we go or something like that. To bed we go. Trying to figure that one out. I don't know. Them some silly names. I know. That's what I'm saying. But who's this other feller that was in the fire with him? Who's he? He's a crazy one. But he was the other person. The other person was an angel of the Lord, and we're no ordinary person. Teach said that the Lord is with us if and we get His Spirit, and hmm. if and we ask, He'd help us the same. My word. Yeah. Well, you gonna go back next Sunday or no? I got to, pops. Why? Teacher said, and if I miss class too much, I'd be thrown in that fire furnace the same as the other fellers. What? What she said a blame thing like that for? I don't know. Scared a young pad one like that. Uh, yeah, Pops. She said, she said she dropped me from the register. That's what she said. Dropped from the register. <laughs> My young pad one. That ain't no furnace like register, boy. Oh. It's like a country, country or county register. Oh. It's a list of names. She's saying she gonna take your name out the book. Well, I don't want them to do that neither. What? Why? That preacher said if your name ain't in the book, you ain't going to heaven. Oh. And you go to the big and furnace anyway. I don't oh, want to go boy. to the big and furnace. That ain't the book preacher was talking about. Preacher's talking about the book of life. Not the Sunday school registry. Dear me, boy. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, bro, what about that bear? That bear, bear they were singing about with the funny eyes. Bear? With the funny eyes? Bear with the funny eyes, yep. I, I, I remember now. His name was Gladly, and he was cross-eyed. Yep. <sighs> Gladly, and his, name, his eyes were cross-eyed. That's what he said. Dear me, boy, you done got yourself all out of whack. That wasn't no bear they was singing about. It's a song called Gladly, the Cross-Eyed Bear. Not Gladly, the Cross-Eyed Bear. You play too much. You can see how I get confused. How you ever gonna be a Jedi from the sticks if you ain't listening right, boy? You need to do a heap less playing and a whole lot more listening. And you won't be getting yourself all fire confused. Okay, Pops. Now, 
Go do some lightsaber training before I drop you from the Jedi training register. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I need to go along with the boy to keep him squared up. And to tell you the truth, sounds pretty interesting stuff they learning. Well, never too old to start learning, and this is what I say. <laughs> Cross-eyed bear, that boy. If we could have the youth come up and, never mind, it's a game. <laughs> Tricked you. There's that voice over again. Where's that coming from? I don't know. That's weird. The lightsaber game. Lightsaber Ooh. game. All right, guys. Ooh, you guys are familiar with, too. like, hot potato? Yeah. That's not what this is. <sighs> okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass the force. This is DeForce, okay? So you guys are gonna take a lightsaber. I think this is the handle, I hope so. All right, so you have the ring on it, right? Without it falling off, without touching it with your hand, you have to pass it to your partner via lightsaber, okay? So we're passing the force, okay? So what you gotta do is you gotta go all the way down the line and then back without dropping it or your team has to restart, okay? So I need a ton of volunteers. Okay, so you, 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 over there. How many did I tap? I forgot to count. Okay, and you and you, over there. Okay, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, carry the eight. Okay, okay, all right. One, two, three, four, five. You wanna do it too? You can get in on it. All right, we'll go right here. Okay, over here. Let's come over here. Everybody grab a lightsaber. Let's see how many we got now. All right, you guys scoochy on down, scoocheroni. Okay, Aiden, I need you over there. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Okay, wait, we got eight right there. All right. Okay, I need some more folks. Ryan, of course, you, 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 you. Do you want to do it? I won't do it if you, okay, she wants to do it, okay. All right, how many do we got now? I'm, I'm not very good at this counting in public. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta, okay. This group, all the young Padawans from here over, we're gonna go down the line over here to separate because there's just too many people up here. So y'all get into a line straight down here. Boop, right there. All right, we got one, two. We're going to separate you guys over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. No, you're good. This is the line of separation. So you guys are going to go down this line right here. So line up over there. How many we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need, oh, then eight right here. Perfect. Boom, right there. All right. Who needs, who needs one of these guys? Anybody? Okay. Boom. All right. All right, so you're going to pass it down and pass it back. May the force pass well between you. All right, here you go. All right, whoever gets it all the way down and then back without dropping it wins. Okay, so it's a race. Good luck. May the force be with you. Ready? And begin. Oh, look at the technique over here. Oh, this group's doing great. It's a good technique. We'll see if it works out. Oh, good save, good save. Oh, I was a little worried there. Oh, this is really smart. Look at this group. Oh, man. You got it. Keep going. Oh, sick save. All right, we got to go back now. These guys know how to use lightsaber.
No lightsaber battles. Save it for later. <laughs> this is Apostolics of Fairbanks, if you didn't know. And uh, we want to give everybody an opportunity to pay their tithes today. Make sure it's your first fruits, getting that, getting that in there, obeying the scriptures. So we're going to do our, our uh, scriptures for offering. If we can get those to come up, everybody stand up. All righty. Job 22 and 28. Thou shalt also decree a thing. And it shall be established unto thee. Malachi 3.8. Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offering. Upon the authority and by the orders of your word I have given. And it shall be given unto me. Pressed down, shaken together, and running over. I am a tither and a giver. I bring my tithe and offering today into your storehouse. Therefore, the enemy is rebuked. The curse is broken. I live under an open heaven. You pour out upon me such a blessing that there is not enough room to receive it. We receive jobs and better jobs, raises and bonuses, sales and commissions, benefits and settlements, estates and inheritance, interest and income, rebates and returns, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, Bills paid off, debts dismissed, royalties received, my whole family saved in walking with God, perfect health, abundance, and to walk in divine favor and blessings. I shall be blessed coming in, and I shall be blessed going out, and all that I do will prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. And it is so. We can have our ushers come up. We have a couple, put it three minutes on the timer, get your tithes and offerings up, and greet all your fellow Jedi, and hopefully not Sith, and uh, you got a couple minutes, and then we'll get right back into Kids Day. Okay, okay, no lightsaber fights inside the church. I would hate to order an is uh, uh, issue an order 66, so. Order 66, this one? <laughs> I figured we'd go ahead and do it. Yeah, we can. I don't know what's next.
All right, if we can get our our, uh, team up here, we're going to go ahead and do our next song, Rainbow. Come on, everybody stand up. You got bone in your leg. I know you got a bone in your leg. Get up. All right, that was fun. I did not practice with them. I wish they would have practiced this. They didn't know what they were doing. I was the one who knew what I was doing up there. (laughs) That's what I meant to say. So we do something around here just about every kid's day. I almost forgot it last time. But there's three things. Three things that are extremely important, right? So, can we get in three things position? Does anybody know what that is? No, nobody knows what that is. Standing. (laughs) It's it's, it's standing. It's standing. We stand. (laughs) Could I get you to stand up, please? (laughs) So, does anybody know what the three things are? What is the first one? Can I get a a hand up? Tell me what it is. Pray. Repent. (gasps) He knows. The first one is repent. Does anybody know where we get these three things from? First of all, Acts 2.38. 
pretty important scripture. They all are. They all are. But this one is like crucial because it gives us the whole plan of salvation, of redemption for our souls. So, well, the beginning of it anyways. So anyways, let's go. So, first of all, repent. This is how we do it. So, number one is repent. Teaching you this time. Then we'll, you know, do go back. Anyways. Number two is? Be, get baptized. Be baptized in Jesus' name. Right? And why do we do it this way? So we be baptized in Jesus' name. We cover our nose so we don't get water up our nose when we get baptized. Because you go under the water, the warm water goes up your nose. So number two, be baptized in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Means fully immersed in water. And then number three, this is on my favorite. Somebody hasn't answered yet. We pray, absolutely, but we get the Holy Ghost. And what do we do for that? We go crazy. <laughs> because it's, it's the most amazing thing in the entire universe. When you have the Spirit of God come down into you, the name of this is May the Lord Be With You, right? The name of the Kids' Day. And this is exactly when the Lord becomes with you always at that point. He comes inside of you, and he makes his abode with you. That's a big word. It's not really a big word. It's an SAT word. <laughs> Kids don't know it yet. But he comes in, and he, he makes his residence with you. That's another big word. Sorry. <laughs> Did you know what I said? No. Okay. So when we get the Holy Ghost, what happens? Jesus comes inside, right? So. Do you remember the three things? We're going to start them. Right? You ready? I'm going to count to three, and then we're going to do the three things one after the other. You ready? One, two. I was going to count first. <sighs> Simple instructions. See, this is how people get messed up. They interpret the Bible any old way they want. They listen to the instructions, and then they get them wrong. It's, oh, it happens all the time. We are all children. <laughs> so I'm going to do a countdown, and then we'll do it, all right? You ready? I probably wasn't clear. That's probably my fault. Communication is not my greatest you know, asset. So I'm going to do a countdown. You ready? One, two. I'm do I said I'm doing the countdown. Then, you, then, then we'll do the three things. I'm doing the countdown. Just wait. One, two. Okay. Let's try this again. One, two, three. Repent. Now y'all done messed me up. My hair's getting messy. It's too hot in here. My brain's fried. You try sitting back there making the dudes do stuff. <laughs> it's hot back there. Okay, let's try this again. Number one is? Repent. repent. Number two is? Be baptized in Jesus' name. And then? Number three is? Get the Holy Ghost! All right. Awesome. We got that. Okay, what's next on the schedule? I forgot. <laughs> oh, yes. So, we're going to finish this off with a little object lesson. So, if I can get my awesome assistant. Because you see how fried my brain is. If I try to do this and try to talk at the same time, I'm going to mess it up and I'm going to spill it everywhere or something. I don't know. So, this... This will represent us, okay? This little bowl, even though he's a lot bigger than us, just for this little object lesson, this is God, okay? There's a lot of aspects to God. You know, there's love, 
He's going to pour in a little bit of love. There's joy. There's so much joy in God. Peace. God is, is peaceful. Long-suffering. God's kind of long-suffering with us, isn't he? Yeah. Gentleness. I can't tell you how many times where God's been gentle with me when he really didn't need to be, but he was. Uh, kindness. Temperance. I, I don't think we have enough. <laughs> um, meekness. Meekness. That was the other one. I got them out of order, and it messed me all up. I had to do the alphabet thing, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh, that's the one, yeah. Anyways, so all these things are in God, right? But we want God in us, right? This is the cool thing about God. So all these things are in God, right? Yeah, that's me. But when we submit ourselves to God, he kind of... He kind of comes over us, kind of overshadows us. Go ahead. Then, you'll see it. When God overshadows us, he starts to pour things into our lives. You can see little colors coming in, and these things kind of trickle into our lives and kind of work things into our lives, and God begins to just, in different areas of our lives, he begins to show us him. Because if he showed us him all at once, we'd kind of be a little overwhelmed. So this is a little too much of God. So you see these little fireworks coming down, these little things coming down? This is all God just working in our life, all these colorful things. And then what we need to do is we need to keep all this alive. Because sometimes we get distracted with life and all that. So let's put some of these in here and stretch them out. And, and what we need to do is we need to keep it alive and we need to bubble up. See that? See if we can shed some light on this. You see that? Yeah, the food coloring works really good. It just kind of darkens up everything really nice. <laughs> Anybody see that? You can't see it anymore. You got the point. <laughs> But we need to keep all that alive and just kind of bubble it up in our lives, right? Because God pours all these things into us, and he just continues to pour into us. And that's called the fruit of the Spirit. And to get the fruit of the Spirit in our life, we need, the, we need God, the Spirit, to pour into us. And that's why we need his Holy Ghost inside of us, not just outside influence and saying, hey, do this, do this, do this. But we need him on the inside bringing conviction into our lives and helping us and and you know we hide the word in our heart that we won't sin against him all these things but it's up to us to pray and keep these things alive and let the spirit move we, we ask we're constantly getting a, a refreshing of the holy ghost and and letting that flow through us constantly and that's what bubbles up in us and keeps all this alive amen so who wants the Holy Ghost? We all want the Holy Ghost. We all want the Holy Ghost, right? I mean, the Holy Ghost is the most amazing thing on the, in the universe. So, we're just going to, I'm just going to close out here. But if we could all stand. See, even if you have the Holy Ghost, there's always that refreshing that can happen. And we know, when, we know we have the Holy Ghost when we speak in tongues. Because the Bible talks about it, how that is one of the main, that's like the evidence that we have it, right? When you speak in tongues, you're like, okay, God's moving through me. He's speaking through me now, right? Who's done that before? Has anybody spoken tongues before? 
I know a bunch of you have, and you're just not paying attention. See, Eden remembers. We all remember when Eden got the Holy Ghost. That was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so we need to remember these things. Well, you know what? If you didn't remember, it's time today to get a refreshing. And if you've never gotten it before, absolutely, you can get it today. It's a free gift. God offers it. We, if we repent, we tell God we're sorry, and we honestly, in our minds and in our spirits, say, you know, I'm going to change things. I'm going to change some things in my life because, you know, <laughs> we mess things up. As pastor says, human is Greek for stupid. We do some dumb stuff, don't we? Do you always obey? No, Jen, you never get in trouble. We always make mistakes, don't we? You know, it's like, why did I do that? I knew I was going to get a spanking. And I did it anyways. Why? You know, we just do things. But, you know, God's grace and his mercy is there to help pick us back up. He doesn't just give up on us like our parents don't. They don't just say, oh, you messed up. You're kick, get out of my house. You're done. On the first time you make a mistake. Now, if you do the same thing like 20,000 times in a day, then you know, it'd be kind of, you know, upsetting. But you know what? Our parents never give up on us. And God doesn't give up on us. He's constantly there to lift us up and say, it's okay. Let's keep going. Keep going. Right? So let's just, let's pray today. And just let God work through you. If we could get all of our kids up here, any of our youth workers to pray with these kids. I think these kids, do you all want a refilling of the Holy Ghost? They're like, you want God to speak through you again and how to get the Holy Ghost all over again? And we know it's not all over again, but it's a refreshing, it's awesome feeling, okay? Okay, so we're going we're gonna to pray, you ready? If we could get everybody to pray, and let's just worship God for a few minutes, and then we're just going to start praying with these young people, these, these children, and they're all going to be refilled with the Holy Ghost. If you pray, it will happen, okay? All you got to do is repent and pray. God wants, he's like, he's like sitting there just like, okay, 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 I'm ready, I'm ready. You ready? You ready? Okay. As soon as they're ready, boom, it's going to happen. That's, that's God. He's like waiting. He's just waiting. To, he's like, okay, I'm going to give you this awesome gift. All you got to do is reach out and take it. That's how God is. He wants to give it to us. Every time we ask, right, he's ready to pour down the blessings. Okay, we ready? Let's just worship for a few minutes, and then we're going to start praying with these, with these kids. If you need the Holy Ghost, reach over to somebody and say, hey, can you pray with me? That extra faith always helps just to have somebody there with you. Jesus' name, we love you. You are an awesome God. We magnify your holy name, Jesus. Jesus, you are so precious to me. You are the mighty God. You are the great physician. You are the Lord of lords and the King of kings. The master of all the universe. The creator of all things, Jesus. You are the one that we worship and adore. You are mighty. You are the great counselor. You are the mighty God. The everlasting father. The prince of peace. We've come today to worship you and to love you. Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Lord, we repent right now, God. I ask that you would forgive me of every sin, Jesus, if there's anything I've said or thought that wasn't right, that would bring any, any displeasure to you, Jesus. I pray that you would forgive me right now. God, I want your spirit working in me. I want your Holy Ghost working in me. I need you, Jesus. I need to feel you once again. Young people, can we come in here and start praying with these kids? We have any altar workers that can come up and help us pray? Sunday school teachers and helpers? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus.
If you're not praying right now, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and just, just start praying. Go ahead and lift up your voice. We are creating an atmosphere for these young people, for anybody that's hungry for God, to receive everything that they can get from God today. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. We worship You. We thank You, Heavenly Father, for the awesome experience and the opportunity we have to be in Your presence today, God, to learn of You, to share this time with You, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, in your precious name, in your precious name, in your precious name, Lord.
Amen. What a great time we've had today, huh? Kids Day. I want to thank everybody who's worked so tirelessly and so hard uh, to get all the all the decor and the ideas and all of this all of this stuff together. Um, I want to thank our our missions team, our youth on missions team who have come up. We had uh, nine come up this time, and uh, just so so have enjoyed that time. We're gonna have a little bit of a well. We got a barbecue tonight, our potluck right after service, and then we've got a barbecue at our house for them tonight. And then tomorrow we're just gonna find whatever we can to let them have fun and have a day off. But I would like the people that have uh, have helped with our, matter of fact, I think most of the people that have helped with our missions team, not our missionaries, but our people who have actually come and, and cooked and cleaned and, they didn't clean, did they? They made y'all do all the cleaning. They cooked though. <laughs> but I want to say a huge thank you. Um, I know, and I, I don't know who did everything, but I know that my wife has spent most of her waking time here at the church and with them. Sister Tony has spent most of her waking time uh, here at the church and with them. And then I have seen a whole lot of Sister Kim. Is she still here? Outside cooking and such. Who knows? No, she's getting fresh air. That's what she's doing. Um, but, but all of you who have, have worked so hard uh, helping with our, with our missions trip this year, thank you so much. Um, uh, all the way down to Sister Jorney, who drove them all back from the Anchorage area. She was telling me what a pain y'all were, but <laughs> not really. You know Jorney better than that. <laughs> um, but for the very last thing we need to do uh, before praying for our food is we need, uh, we need to judge these costumes. So I'm going to ask everybody if you would go ahead and spend just a few seconds or, or, or 30 seconds, 45 seconds, getting your costume ready again. Um, if you want to be taken serious on the national stage. Um, but what I am going to ask is I'm going to ask our, our, our missionaries, our YAM, the nine of you that have come in from outside this church, I'd like you all to go over in these front two rows. And then um, Brother Nick and Sister Tony are going to help you all. They're going to corral y'all, and I'm going to have y'all judge, y'all do, y'all judge this. So my first question is, do we have any babies that were dressed up? Did we dress up, do we have any babies dressed up Star Wars at all? T-shirt, I don't care. Headband. Glasses. Babies. We had no babies dressed up. I just want to make sure. Are we dressed up as Grogu? Okay, we're going to need, I'm sorry, Sister Ashley. You are the older Grogu. Is, was that the intention? Is he dressed up for, for today? No? <laughs> we have a no. Okay, so no babies are dressed up for today. All right. Uh, the next age group is 3 to 11. So if you are the ages of 3 through 11, Come on up, right here in the front. Three through eleven, and I'm going to have y'all. What I'm going to have y'all do is I'm going to have y'all turn and walk all the way to that wall and be right in front of them. Make just make your most adorable, cute, even smash nose face that you can make. That's hilarious. Clayton's nose is like this. Y'all look at this group of young people, and you just look as, look, look right over here, right over here, and just look as cute as you can. I said, are you, I said, you're Princess Amidala, or are you Queen Amidala? She goes, I also have a daughter. Don't tell Darth Vader that. Okay, have y'all have y'all seen enough? Y'all need to talk for a minute. Okay, okay. Now all y'all come right back down to this other end. 
Everybody back down to that other end. Hey, 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 Oh, turn that off. You're going to kill somebody. And accidentally take out old Ben. I'm going to need Sister Mariah to be quiet. Just, I can't believe I'm saying that because she never says anything, but still, you're trying to sway the judges. Sister Jarney, if I give you that look, tackle her. Okay. Well, whoa, whoa, whoa! You gotta, you gotta, you gotta tell your, you gotta tell your spokeswoman here. You have it. Queen Amidala, would you mind coming here? This one or the other in the green? All right. Here, here. Make sure, make sure you pay your tithes and don't let your parents spend it. All right, thank y'all. Can we get a good hand for three to 11s? All right, y'all can go back down. Now we have youth 12 to, is it 18? 12 to 18. Can't win like that, can you? 12 to 18, if you dressed up, come on up front. All right. Uh, walk over there and do your best to be cute. Okay, you've seen enough. Okay, everybody back down to that end. Hey, we don't need uh, don't care about crushes. We just Okay, and all of our adults who, who dressed up, 19 and up. <laughs> DJ actually left. He did, he did not want to win, so he left. That's not why he left, he, but he, he did leave, though. Who else is outside? We have, we have couples too. You want to see if the Nicholsons want to come in? Those t-shirts are great. Did y'all see those? Uh, if you know the, if you know the, the story of, of, of Han and Leah, hers says, I love you, and his says, I know. <laughs> it's like, that's awesome. What's that? It, yeah, still a better love, love story than Twilight. Where's your husband at? Oh, oh, we have charcoal upstairs. Whoops. So the other part says, I know, but he, he, he didn't want to win either. Is that it for the adults? Okay, slide down that in. I want to thank everybody for coming in uh, to the final frontier with us today.
What we have done today is we have boldly gone where no man has gone before. But I did wear my, my Star Wars. Uh, oh, wait, that's Star Trek. <laughs> Here's a little known fact while they're deliberating. Um, Gene Roddenberry was the creator of Star Trek and was very good friends with George Lucas. And so, um, G- all right, well, now I'm talking, so y'all got to wait. Um, but uh, I, I actually I saw, I, I saw a, a photo of them standing next to each other laughing. And I'm like, what in the world? Okay, y'all shut up and sit down. <laughs> Sister Jorney, jump them if they, if, if they, thank you. <laughs> Believe me, you want her to jump you, not the guys. And Brother Trent will shoot you. He'll kneecap you. Um, anyway, they, they were good friends, and, uh, and George Lucas actually went to Gene Roddenberry and said, hey, it's such a, such a good success, give me any pointers. Got, got any pointers, and George Lucas successfully made his books into movies, and then returned the favor because Gene Roddenberry said, hey, your movies work so well, can you give me some pointers so I can make some Star Trek movies? And so they got together again, and, he, and so really both of them accredit a lot of their success to each other, yet Star Trekies and Star Warsies, which just sounds lame, but no, fans of both, are, are they're like anti-each other. And the creators weren't even anti-each other. Oh, Sister Sarah Patton goes, not me, not me. You can't tell that we're nerds here, especially by looking at our logo. All right, who do we have? One, two, three. <laughs> awesome. Thank you all for coming, Lord. We thank you for this opportunity. We do ask that you would bless this food and the nourishment and the use of our bodies today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I don't know exactly what we're doing, except I know we're fixing to eat. Food is going to be outside. I think some tables are set up out there.